Welcome to Getting Started with Game Creator. Today we'll learn how to set up a scene with multiple cameras and switch between them at runtime. Nowadays there is a tendency of making games that rely on a single point of view camera, like in Gears of War's shoulder camera. Two decades ago, games were more prone to introduce different camera angles to have a more cinematic experience in favor of a lower paced gameplay. Resident Evil, for example, did an excellent job at placing cameras in specific angles to increase the tension and hide enemies behind corners. To make a camera system in Game Creator, you only need to add the camera controller component to the main camera. You'll see that this component has only one field named Current Camera Motor. Camera motors are like ghost cameras that tell Unity how the main camera should behave. This behavior is transferred to the main camera, which mimics the motor. There can only be one motor active at a time, and it can be switched at runtime using the Change Camera Motor action. To create a camera motor, right-click on the Hierarchy panel and select Create, Game Creator, Other, Camera Motor. You can select the motor's behavior in the Inspector's drop-down menu. Here are some of the camera motors available. The Fixed Camera. This type of motor behaves as a surveillance camera. You can set a target, which the camera will look at, but won't move of its place. The follow camera, excellent for top-down adventure games or roguelikes. The follow camera behaves like the fixed camera, but also moves keeping a certain distance to its target. The railway camera, also known as dolly camera. The railway motor allows to move the camera along a constrained path. The camera's position in the rail is defined by the target's position. To illustrate this, let's imagine we have a railway camera that follows the blue cube. If the blue cube is at the vertex of the target path, which is the blue segment, then the camera will stay at the beginning of its defined path. If the blue target moves towards the other vertex, then the camera will smoothly move the same percentage of its target's movement. If the blue cube moves beyond any of the vertices, the camera will move to the nearest point constrained by the rail. The tween camera. This type of motor is used mostly for small cinematic sequences or dialogue events. It allows to define a start position, an end position, and a duration. As soon as this motor is enabled, the camera starts moving from the initial position towards the end. The movement of the tween camera can be eased using any of the available easing functions. Check out our demo project to see a real-time implementation of the different camera motors at demo.gamecreator.io.